So what do we got today? Well, um, back in December, remember I brought home that um, frozen, frozen crow? Oh, I thought you were bringing home Christmas dinner, but no. Yes, I do. Well, this is, this is it. We could have had Christmas dinner. We could have had that for Christmas dinner instead of that turkey. No, turkey's better. Yep, yeah, this was free. It's, it's been too frozen for me to do anything with it, but yeah. since the weather is breaking now, yeah. it's now starting to thaw. So since yeah. the bird is starting to thaw, we can now determine exactly how this little bird ended up on the side of the road. I have a feeling it was hit by a car. We'll find out exactly what was broken. Yeah. Is it totally thawed? Yep. There's a little bit of decomposition happening too, I can smell. Oh. Alright, now this is still the position it was in when I found it, only it was up on its back like this. Yeah. Because I saw the, the feet. Yeah. Now this is a not too old of a bird. It's it's yeah. not it's not this past year's bird, I don't think. No. It it might be about the same age as Mortimer. Yeah. One or two years old. Now its feathers are puffed up, but this is a crow, it's not a raven. Yeah. Because the beak is shorter, yeah. it's not as thick, and there's not as much rough here. A, a raven is very, very ruffled. Neck broken? No. Neck is not broken. Skull is intact. Jaw is not broken. I'm going to open the beak here. Yeah. yeah. That, that is a mature bird. Yes. Yeah, definitely a mature bird. I'd estimate one or two years old. I'm not going to harvest any feathers off of this one because it is starting to decompose in the bag. Yeah. See the wingspan here. I don't know. I think some of the feathers would be alright. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't want to collect them where there's some smell. Yeah. So there may be some bacteria and smell onto the yeah. feathers. Okay. Beautiful. Really nice feathers. Beautiful thing. Now, something that's interesting about crows is they do have a bit of an iridescence. Yeah, I, said, I noticed that. There yeah. are some scientists that claim that crows can see UV. So, where we see them as black, yeah. it could mean that we don't have the cones in our eyes to pick up the colors that they can see. So, it is quite possible that to a crow, there are rainbow of colors. They have different patterns within them, and each crow is different in their iridescence. Yeah. It's shattered here. Shattered here? Yeah, I can feel it broken right there. So it would have been an impact into the... the yeah, it, it probably went like that. Yeah. You know, it would like spread eagle. Yeah. In shock. Yeah. Right there underneath the breastbone is broken. It's sharp in there. Yeah. But there's... It hasn't been squished too much. Huh. Enough of an impact. To yeah, enough of an impact. To send them off to the choir invisible. Yeah, yeah, and right here too, you can feel the the bones poking. Yeah. But I I think it's a good specimen. Yeah. So you got to do the skull area. Yeah. 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 But what I'm going to do is a slight experiment with this bird. Yeah. Is I'm going to put it in the flesh flesher hole. Okay. Like I had done with the, the very first bird I did, which was a seagull. Yeah. You're going to do that now. Yeah. There's the tail. There's some tail feathers missing there. Yeah. But with an impact into this area, yeah. it would be expected there would be some feathers missing. Yeah. Yeah. Poor little thing. Oh well. By the, by the wing here, I'd assume it's a female. Yeah. By the size. By the size of the yeah. bird, yeah. yeah. Females in the crows, they run smaller than the males. Now, it's going to take a long time for this thing to be ready because it is still quite cold. Yeah. But for anybody who's asking how I do the bags, 
when I put them in the box, I either leave them like this in the box, yeah. or sometimes I'll just gently fold them like this. Yeah. Now for this, the decomposers can crawl in through here, and they can come up around, and they can go right in through it, and then leave. But the reason why I put them in the bags is you see these water droplets here. Yeah. The moisture's being kept in there. And what decomposers like is a nice warm environment, a nice moist environment. Yeah. Because maggots, if you see maggots, are... Nice and moist and juicy. They are. Yeah. Now, yeah. And that is why when you look at roadkill on the road and they're bloated up, this is like the stomach of a roadkill. The stomach keeps the heat in, keeps the moisture in, and that's why there's always a lot of maggots in the stomach area. Okay. That's why they go there. First, because it's a nice, warm, soft, easily digestible place for them. Okay. So let's go put her in the box. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Now, my security system on this is little laps, but that's because we don't need it. We don't need it to be 100% weighed down so that nothing could get in, because nothing wants to get in. Are you going to be able to get that open? You should be able to. We got it open this time of year before. But I think it's pretty frozen right now. Yep. On the Here, let me. Let you do it. Let me go get something. Right, I, and there we go. All you need is a bigger hammer. <laughs> Here, take the camera. Yep, take the camera. The real time adventures of the flesh. Yeah. Now, what did you say? If you ever wrote your memoirs, what the chapter of me would be? My, my time with Coyote Girl, or my time with the Flesher? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, I don't know what I would say, but... Wow. I'd say, well. There is some decomposition happening here. Look at this. Yeah. Bare bones. Right on. So even in the winter, there is some decomposition there. Yeah. I would say that it would be small animals because that was pulled out. So it'd mice. Be something like mice, like, squirrels, <gasps> weasels. The weasels are around. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's it's a small small creature, but you yeah. know what? It's good that this little guy's coming in and eating meat off of these. Yeah, the weasel. Yeah, and he got into the bare feet, but they're still. Yeah. Oh, I see some porcupine quills. I, I, you know what, I should get my trapper's license I could catch some weasels. There's a nest in there, too. A, it's an ant nest. Is there? In, in the far corner, Yeah. they're building an ant nest. Well, they, they had one last summer. Yeah. Well, there's a nest. I don't know if you can see in there, but in there, that corner, there is an ant nest wow. in the flesh box. So, some somebody had recommended that I build my box closer to an ant nest. That way it's right near the home. Well, they brought their home, they brought their home to my box. Yeah. So, I'm quite happy about that. So, I'm just going to leave this bag like this. Yeah. And just put her in the back. There, put her right over by the nest. If this keeps up, we're going to have to make a bigger flesher. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I already have plans to make a bigger one. Yeah, yeah, every, you already have plans to make me make you a bigger one. Oh no, I'm going to make it. Oh, oh, and I'm going to do a video making it. Oh, okay. Everything, everything all this. You heard that, people. She's going to make it, so I don't have to do a thing. <laughs> Supervise and hold the camera. Uh huh. But um, <laughs> all, the, all the other. <laughs> yeah, your wonderful camera work, putting the uh, camera sideways and whatnot. World's but, best cameraman. Yeah. All the other bags are frozen down. Yeah. So I can't pick them up to show you what. It looks like in there at the moment. Yeah. I know that I do have some skulls that would be ready to pull out. Yeah. Well, things won't start to happen now until... Until May. Yeah. Well, like, you know, this will be frozen until April. Yeah. Uh, but uh, once you get into April and, the, and it starts raining, it's going it, to... This place will warm up relatively quickly. 
it's warming up now. Yeah. Right. Like, you know, we've had. That's the amount of snow we've had, and this has been the longest. Last year we had a we had a foot and a half down, didn't we? Yeah, you, I can see the same breath though. Yeah, not. No, this is this it's is not nothing. As bad, though. This is nothing, right? But uh, yeah, we don't have a lot of uh, we don't have a lot of snow down. It's not as cold as usual. It's not as cold. This has been a very like uh, now normally. The last week in January and the first week in February are the two coldest weeks of the year, uh, statistically. And uh, that was when we would usually, when I was in the military, we would do our main winter warfare exercises because it would be the coldest time. And here in, you know, here in Nova Scotia, it was... Uh, we would uh, we would get I, I can remember minus anywhere from minus 15 to minus 20 minus 22 somewhere around there uh, this year the coldest we got was minus 11 uh, and we only had a couple of days like that and during the two coldest weeks of the year statistically we we had one day at around minus 10 and there was a couple of days like this and there was one day everything just melted you could go out without just a, yeah. just a shirt on and uh, I thought wow you know and uh, Europe is really getting pounded there looks as if what they said is happening or, or what is happening now is what they said they were going to happen now they're blaming it on the ice now uh, there's not as much nice ice in the Arctic and the winds are coming down and freezing Europe. But uh, a couple of years ago, they said that as the ice melted, it would cool the oceans and it would slow the uh, the uh, uh, Gulf Stream. Now, if the Gulf see the Gulf Stream is about 50 to 75 miles that way, right off the coast here. And we usually don't get an effect of it. It usually just zoots on by. What I think has happened is the Gulf Stream has slowed down. So it's warmer out there than normal. And it's affecting us here. Uh, whereas, and in Europe, they're being affected by the fact they're not getting the Gulf Stream coming in the way it should be. Or the way it traditionally has for the last few hundred years. So, and it looks as if they're making any excuse not to let this information out. Uh, that's my own personal opinion uh, because they don't want to panic people. I do. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I, I, I just want to, you know, say, you know, I'm looking at it, and uh, for all you people in Europe, anybody in Europe is watching this, check out the videos I did on how to dress warm. Yeah, right? on his own channel, Great Seven Six Nine. Yeah, on Great Seven Six Nine. You, you really should check them out because of the. Uh, Canadians know how to dress warm, all right, and uh, uh, we've been doing it for a long time. So anyway, uh, back to you there, uh, flesh girl. <laughs> the flesher? Yeah. yeah, so if I was an evil comic book villain, I'd be the flesher, would I? You'd be the flesher, yeah. Scalpel blade in hand. Yeah. Well, I can hear Arrow crying. Yeah, I can hear him crying. He, he's opened the inside door. Too. Yeah, I wonder what he wonder what's up his ass. Oh, it's getting close to supper time for them, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, a couple hours to supper time. What are you doing out here when you could be feeding us? Yes, they'll come in and Arrow will be the only one that's right there to see us. The other kids be landing and, oh, I see you're home. Now you can feed us. 